Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. It's gonna be a different type of video. Um, leave a like if you guys like this kind of style. So I posted on my Instagram story for my followers to send the worst and best fashion trends in their opinions. And we're gonna be rating their opinions and seeing what is valid and what is not. But you know, it's opinion is an opinion. So nobody's wrong in this, but we're gonna see. So if you guys aren't already following my Instagram, make sure you guys go and follow my Instagram so I can include you in more videos that I wanna do just like this one, but it could be something completely different. I wanna rate your guys' outfits soon. There's a lot of stuff I wanna do, but if you guys are new, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. We're almost to 2,000 subs, and let's get into the fucking video. Got my dick in the bathroom. This she pops Zanny in the bathroom. That's what the rest I'm moving past two. All right, so let's find a good question. Or let's find a good statement, I guess you could say. By the way, I appreciate you guys. You guys, like, literally just kept it going. It's shit ton all right so i've seen a lot so i'm just gonna start start it off with this the loony miguel worst trend is skinny leather pants i don't know i'd have to disagree i think skinny leather pants are actually they are trending right now because of like playboy cardi um lancy foe a lot of people in opium are wearing the leather leather pants and i feel like a lot of people follow trends that like opium starts i guess i don't know i think they look really good i don't think they're bad at all if anything i think they're cool and people put on good outfits with them but i know there's a lot of people that wear them and they just look trash but hey let the people wear what they want to wear i think leather skinny leather pants are valid i don't i don't like skinnier type pants i like more slim but hey I think they're cool. Fila's by Damon, yes. I love Damon. Uh, yeah, nah, Fila's are shit. <laughs> Fila's, Fila's are like, if you, if you, like, okay, so I remember in high school, there was this one time I had this crush on this girl that was in dance class. And like, at the time in high school, I still cared a lot about fashion. Like, if, if a girl had a good outfit, that could change my, my, mind on her into thinking she's like attractive even till this day like if a girl like is really cute but like dresses like lame as hell how are we supposed to have stuff in interest because like my biggest interest is clothing and like fashion there's this girl in my high school and she'd wear the chunky ass filas every day and i thought she was so bad but i was just like no she's for the streets bro yeah i hate filas i trash man you thud fink worst trend is hopping brands or trend no worst is trend hopping brands my bad i i can I, I don't think it's like i think that's valid of an opinion i hate brands that just trend hop and try to recreate like okay i'm just gonna use this for an example i did the full zip cross hoodie and i there there is brands that literally are doing the full zip and putting the cross on the same on, like literally right where I put mine. I'm like, bro, like you can't just do something different on the hood. Come on, bro. I don't, I don't know, man. I agree with that because it takes a lot of creativity out of like streetwear brands and like just bro, if you be yourself, more people are gonna love you for what you're doing instead of copying other brands. And we got another bad one. Girl on shirt by my boy Canvas. That is facts. I feel like so many brands nowadays just put slap a girl on a shirt with a little bit of text or something and then that's it. Million dollar design. I think some some pieces actually look cool, but a lot it's just so oversaturated now that it's like, bro, another girl with some Arabic characters, you know? Uh, I agree. Um we got V-Lone rap merch. Now that is facts. I fucking hate V-Lone rap merch. I think V-Lone pieces from 2018 and 2019 when they were doing like the custom cut denim, custom cut jackets, I think those were really cool. But now all V-Lone is is just some screen printed V with some different colors. It's shit, bro. It's shit. Fuck Jesse, FCK Jesse. Best is fours. I think fours are a really great shoe. 
I don't, I don't think they're the best, but I could agree that they're a really great shoe. I think fours shit on ones. I like the chunkier silhouettes of them too, so you can wear them with like slimmer or baggy pants. I feel like they go with pretty much anything, especially the black cats. Love the black cats. Best balaclavas, knit sweaters, and variety of pants. Okay, I do like balaclavas. I think balaclavas are cool. I think the main reason they got really big is because of COVID, but I mean, it's a cool way to have your mask on and be fashionable with COVID around. And I think it's a cool trend. Knit sweaters, I, I feel like knit sweaters are becoming huge again. They, I feel like they just resurface and at different random times, but I think knit sweaters are fire. I love them. I have a whole bunch in my closet that I wear all the time. They just said stacked jeans. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I literally just made a video on my TikTok about stacked jeans. Stacked jeans, trash. I know people are gonna get mad at this one, but this is just all my opinion, bro. Like, if you rock them and you look good in them, go. That's good for you. I mentioned stacked jeans on my TikTok, and I honestly despise them. I feel like they look so shitty on me, but they do look good on some people. I just personally don't like the trend, but hey, that's just my opinion. First trend is skeleton rhinestone clothes or like ripoff capital bone, bone knits. I don't think it's the worst trend, but I could definitely see where you're coming from. I, yeah, the skeleton rhinestone hoodies. Hey, I'm I drops I'm dropping some rhinestone stuff, but it's no skeleton, and I try and tried to implement rhinestones in a cool way. But yeah, no, I totally agree. Um, it's so oversaturated. I think Capital just becoming a bigger name to the surface of like people that are getting into streetwear just made it get ripped 10 times harder and I could totally agree. Worst trend is emoji track suits. I don't think emoji track suits are a trend. If you're if you're wearing a emoji track suits, please go get help. Please, like you you need some help. Like bro, best I'd say is Y2K and archive kind of the new Cardi style. I don't know how to call it. I think you're more going towards like avant-garde. I guess, yeah, archive too. Y2K, I feel like really isn't Cardi style, but I can agree. I think a lot of uh, avant-garde and archive stuff are really cool and unique and archive shit, bro, is just, it's too expensive for me, way too expensive. But I feel like you can put on some good outfits with every single one of those, so I agree. Best, mohair. I think mohair is really cool. If you guys don't know what mohair is, it's like a certain quality, um, like, a, like a knitted mohair sweater or a, a mohair cardigan. I actually dropped some from my brand. I did a mohair collab cardigan with Ransom that, that was a smash and it was really nice and I'm actually doing mohair knitted sweaters at next Friday actually. Hopefully by the time this video is uploaded. But I can agree, I really like mohair. It's really comfortable, it keeps you warm. It's easy to, it's easy to wash and wear. It can take a lot, a lot of beating. So yeah, I really like mohair. Another best, Gorp Core. Bro, I knew Gorp Core is literally like the biggest fucking thing right now. Arcteryx, the boots, the Yeezy Desert boot, uh, boots, all that shit. Yeah, Gorp Core is taking a win and I can agree. I actually really like a lot of the Gorp Core outfits and stuff that people have been putting together. And I think it's cool. But um, I think that's gonna be all for this video. If you guys liked it and want to see more content like this, make sure to leave a like, leave a follow. Three uploads every single month, my bad, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'm out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.